Hey folks, Batmos here, and uh, with me I have Fireweaver. Hello, Fireweaver. Hello, good morning to and you, sir. Welcome back. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. This is the first uh, abduction recording we are doing this year, actually, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Um, it's been a while. We did most of our recording, I guess, in November, uh, December time. Yeah, before the holidays, basically. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're back. So it's been a couple of weeks, actually. So um, I hope the, the the difference between last episode and this episode is not too jarring. And I hope we don't forget things again. Uh, last time we disabled this Mofang laser here. And that means that we have now, presumably, the ability to wrap around in this world as well. So we may be able to access some parts that were previously uh, not accessible. Now, I did take some notes between uh, our recording sessions while I was editing them, and I would just like to 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 read them a to Fireweaver and to you guys. So this is some assorted stuff. So um, I did write down that there is a path to the force field on top of CW's house, uh, basically where we redirected the f uh, waterfall, and that seems to wrap around to the bleeder. Um, I don't know if we can reach that, but next time we are in Hanrath, we may as well give that a try. Then there is the sphere with the motorbike, you know, the one that we can rotate. And yeah. I believe that this is actually relevant to this world, because the architecture in that stone sphere is very similar to what we have here. And that's the barnacles, which is from the bug aliens. So I'm thinking this is a puzzle where we have to dislocate whatever, teleport a big sphere of rock um, from oh. here to there, rotate it in Hunrath with the motorbike, teleport it back so that we get access yeah. to something. Well, I don't think there's any controls uh, for that in um, the main place, Hunrath. No. Um, well, they, we have the motorbike, which we can a enable, and I think I think we tried rotating it, but I'm not sure. Yeah. We didn't get the but what part. I think will, will likely happen is because you can activate it from both sides is that we'll find something this side and yes. teleport over <clears throat> we'll find something this side we'll teleport it over we'll turn it around there or maybe we need to turn around what's already there you know yeah. in the correct way because that is part of this world actually um, then I've written down projector at Farley's marked the location or marks a location at rail yard you know the, the circle and the spot that seems to be the rail yard I guess uh, we may have to have another look at that because we never figured out what that projector actually points to, right? Um, or at least no. Um, it probably points to um, Farley's house, and underneath Farley's house was all the portals. Um, yeah, no, the dot doesn't match with Farley's house, but okay, we'll have to. Oh have yeah, that was a tree. That. Yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm yeah. getting confused. Yeah. Um, then I know, noted down, this may or may not be relevant laser. We can block lasers with our body, right? I don't think this will ever come in uh, uh, in mm. handy, but if we step in front of a laser, it gets blocked, and um, we don't get hurt. So maybe there might be a puzzle later on where we need to do this. Um, okay. Then I, um, when we were reading uh, through the um, notebook with the aliens in it, I wrote down uh, that we are in the Arai world, you know, because they have the barnacle stages, and also these big oversized insects that we have been seeing in some places. I'm thinking these are actually Arai that are in Hunrath, for example. You know, there was one in Did the graveyard. Did you catch the actual name of the the, the place, planet thing? Um, I don't think so. So I didn't pay attention to this, but the this is the world that the Arai live in. Um, that's a maybe a good point. We did have a schematic of the worlds, so we could check that as well. But yeah, yeah it's definitely the the Arai here. Um, then uh, oh yes, the Mofang are described as having a mimicry ability. And if you remember, Farley said we must not tr trust people or we may not be able to trust people we meet. So my question that popped to my mind as I was editing is, uh, how good is this mimicry? Can they imitate humans? And if so, CW might actually be an alien. Hmm. We don't know. Um, then there is a rock sphere in the tunnel under Farley's house, which is also gray, so this might actually be relevant to this one. Um... Also, um, I noted that Dave, you actually um, called the teleportation thing very early on. 
Uh, when we were examining the um, the mine shaft with the force field, you said something like, "Oh, there could have been a teleporter here." So he kind of called that early on, and we just never thought that was actually the case. Um, yeah, we didn't try dropping around to the bleeder. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, we could try shooting the tour guide projectors with the laser. I don't think anything happens, or maybe we just destroy them, but it might be an experiment worth uh, conducting. <laughs> right. Then I think the power map indicates that there might be tunnels under the plateau, or the, the place called the tunnels, but I don't know, we'll have to look at this. And the entrance or the quick exit, one of them might be that uh, locked uh, um, tunnel under the or near the rotating bridge. Um, then I noted down, well, we really got the shield mechanics wrong now, didn't we? And also, we were very good at ignoring the imager rock sample in CW's workshop because there was actually a projector there which projected a rock floating, and we just basically ignored that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, then. See, the problem is that all yeah. your editing was done on the early episodes. It's I know. all stuff that is like probably not that relevant to what we're, where we are right I this know, second. But uh, I still <laughs> wanted to mention it just in case. Okay. Um, then there is um, there is a minecart track, of course, near the the water tower on top. We know that, but there's also a caved in mine tunnel there. So maybe that is one that we need to shoot as well. We don't know how to get the minecart up there yet, I believe, but um, that might be it. Um, also, there is a very good field of fire from the loop of the scrapyard, and I don't think we we looked at what we could possibly shoot at from there. Um, then uh, Terakai says that we missed a blue notebook in, um, I think, Farley's house about uh, the, the plants and the mechanics. Now, I'm not sure if we, if we missed this or not, mm, but we should have a look next time we get to Farley's. Last but not least, and this is actually very convenient, Robin says that we can actually use the switches while we are in the laser minecart. So we don't have to get out to switch those, and that is actually probably going to be very, very helpful uh, the next time we move this thing around. Okay. Well, we may else. want to move it, like, back now. Yes. And do. out of the way. 